Welcome back to Glacial Awakening, and our base is getting bigger. I've dug outwards and uh, put up a new curtain wall just to actually get us out here and moved all of this green growth away from our nice, nice grey cave. <laughs> well, it's not a cave anymore. It's suddenly expanding to into a larger building. I don't have enough blocks to use anything prettier. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I had a look around. There was some marble, but I didn't find any more of the nice sort of the blue buildings, these permafrost bricks and uh, smooth azurite bricks. So once I get a better mine tool on me, we'll head down to our original base and hollow out a bunch of bricks, uh, well, a bunch of cobble and turn that over into something nicer. Anyway, for the meantime, I've moved most of the dirt out of here. I've dug through that hill and there is an opening. You can see all the way down there to another open area. And on this side, uh, just outside, I have put um, our sort of mysterious dust little farm thing that will spread over time and uh do i have any dirt uh i'm missing some dirt there's gonna be some around here somewhere ah, that'll do there we go so that there is somewhere for it to spread and that's pretty good so out here is our pyre uh i think i'm actually going to take that inside as well yep now it can go inside and it can live with everything else in here okay so ugh. Nowhere really to put this. Uh, let's just put it inside. It is just a yeah, go go there. In this corner, I've moved our sort of anvils. We need to improve those into the the better version, um, just so I have them available. Oh, and our iron is done, so that is probably a good time. Or oh, is this gold? Can't remember. Um, are you iron or gold? Let's just grab my shovel. Uh, now my tongs, because I can't see what this is. Um, tongs? There we go. It is iron. Good. I did need to mine. So let's just get that done. Standing in water to make sure we don't actually die. There we go. All that's been converted. And you'll see these anvils are getting broken. Uh, so I'd rather upgrade those to the, the sort of next tier, just using uh, iron uh, pretty soon. However, to get started, we're going to be heading to this, this brilliant fibers that we need. So for that, we just need some gold, which is what I just did off camera before I started recording. So here we have brilliant fibers, four gold nuggets, some grass and some leaves of some description. I think I have all of that. I have one piece of grass that will do and uh, some leaves. I'm not sure if the... Will the um hmm, will it count these leaves? Well, I have enough just with the regular kind. That's fine. Brilliant fibers. Yep. There we go. We get four. So here it says to acquire gold leaf, use brilliant fibers on the leaves of a tree, and it'll slowly transform the leaves into golden leaves. Break these golden leaves and they'll drop gold leaf. Now I'm just gonna do that with a regular tree. I'm not gonna worry about um I'm not gonna worry about converting this. Uh, got some wild wood, so we've got some uh, area out here. This should turn into a tree pretty quickly, uh, one would hope. And uh, let's just grab... Where's my axe gone? Ah, it's already turned. Do like that fertile soil. There it is. So uh, we want... Brilliant fibre. Okay, let's put some on this side. And it's going to act presumably just like... Um, uh, silkworms. So I'm probably going to put another tree down somewhere else. So let's just grab this for a second and pop you over here. And then we can put this one down and then turn that one as well. So I need to wait a little while for it to spread through the actual tree. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's just get that going there. And I'm going to choose it in the inside just so it can spread to more different uh, contacting stuff. There you go. You see golden leaves. Okay, so we just need to wait for that to go on. Uh, we need a Book of Natural Aura, which is just a book and some wild root. Uh, but that is Druidic Arts. I need the other one. Um, book of Natural Aura. Oak sapling, leather, and some paper. Now, we already know we can make paper. That is made using pulp. And I think I made a couple of paper a couple of episodes ago, so I should have some around uh, in one of these areas. There we go, a couple of paper. And we need some leather. I think I may have converted the leather over, though. Um, that's a piece of leather. Can that be made back into regular leather? None in there, none in there. Okay, can that be made back into regular leather or something? No. Um, ah, rotten flesh and salt. That's interesting. 
salt is from bit of salt. <laughs> okay. Do we have any of that? I thought we had some rock salt. Can we process the rock salt, I wonder? Salt. Rock salt crystals. Can I do anything with these? Uses for those, please. Uh, packed rock salt crystals, not great. Uh, salt vanilla food pantry. Is that... Well, we can take it to bit of salt with a bit measure. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can just use it uh, as it is. Okay, let's just put it through crafting grid. Let's just take six of that. And with that, is that enough with... Um, what was it? A piece of rotten flesh. Some rotten flesh is there. Will you convert directly? You will. Good. I think I'll convert three, just so I have some available. Um, just throw some of this other stuff away. We need to get rid of some of this in my inventory, so let's just dump all of this for now. And we'll come back to it later. There we go. So uh, where was our stuff? We want some leather. We want uh, probably some sticks. I don't need anything but the pickaxe at certain points. And... Some paper. Was that it? Was that everything for the book? Book of Natural Aura. Two paper, one leather, one sapling of some kind. Okay, two paper, one leather, one sapling. Book of Natural Aura. Good. Is there anything in here? Um, or is a complicated matter and creating... Oh, sorry. It's all about the crafting using that natural ore that we haven't actually got up and running yet. So let's just put that book in with all the other books in the bookcase. Uh, I need to go up there as well. Okay, and that's partially done. We need some wooden stands as well. So wildwood logs and more gold leaf. So how is our gold leaf spread going? Let's go and head outside. And I need to make sure I have this. Uh, it's going, but it's not quite there yet. Let's cut forwards until it's actually converted everything. Okay, looks like they're mostly done, at least on the bottom layer. Let's give this a go and see how much we get for... Well, how much of this drops we get. Uh, well, I've got four so far. So that's actually not too bad. And we'll just grab some more. How many do we need for the quest, I wonder? Um, we needed... Well, anything for the quest. And the wooden stands is just some wildwood logs and that same gold leaf. So I'll leave that out here. And we'll take the rest inside. It's getting dark, so let's just shut that. Even though I demolished that grass, it always grows back around the grove, so don't worry about it. Uh, oh, I've got plenty of extra snowballs. I was just basically getting rid of some of the uh, extra too high ground out there. So let's just get um, those converted over. Uh, well, I'll need more of them, but that's fine. So, uh, yes, we need to get some wildwood logs, which I've got somewhere. Yeah. And that should be enough, I think. So two... And a gold leaf gets us oh, one wooden stand. Okay, so we're clearly going to need more wildwood logs. We need is it eight wooden stands. I presume it's going to make some kind of um, structure we need to build with eight of them. So that's going to need 14 wildwood logs and seven gold leaf, which is fine because I have exactly, well, I have more than enough. There we go. So there's the quest. And we get some more fertile soil. Not that we need to use that. And then we need to make two tokens of joy. Okay, emotions are powerful. Emotions power can be harnessed by aura and containing a token. These tokens can be used to create powerful devices. And we get some candle lily pads. Decorative and light emitting. Interesting. Uh, so, Ritual of the Forest. It seems we're going to need to actually uh, make this. So, we have a bunch of different things to get. Some of these things we already have. Um, yeah, got leaf, etc. Iron, torches. The only thing I don't have is bottled sunlight. Uh, that is... I need the recipe for it, but it just leads me to something else that is... <laughs> something else that is just a use for it. I don't want a use, I want a, a recipe. Uh, okay, fine. Bottled sunlight. One would assume it's just bottles and maybe you leave it out in the sun. Um, is there any sort of... Well, it's probably going to be in the book, isn't it? Let's see, I take a look at that book. Um, <clears throat> wrong book. It's this one. <laughs> okay, introduction. Aura. Um, let's take a look through. Yeah, it is a structure, and it looks like you can just break the tree, and uh, the regular drops will come out of here. When this, well, say regular drops, the gold leaf. So that's good. Easy shortcut for that. And we're going to need the gold leaf because that's needed to actually make 
the next sort of ritual area. So we need to choose an area that's big enough for this. And again, I'm going to put it out here just because um, this is the real place I have big enough. I don't really want to put it inside the walls just yet. Uh, is it um, sunset? It is sunset. Let me just sleep through the night and then we'll construct this. We're going to need some gold powder. And if we have a look in the book that it gives us, here we are, you'll see here there's the structure. So we need uh, three, so, so 12, probably 16 gold powder. And that just needs eight gold leaf put through crafting grid. So 16. There we go. And let's put that down. In the middle, you're going to be using up a sapling of some kind. And around the outside, you don't need to put down all the wooden stands if you don't want to, but I probably will just to have this for later. Uh, and in the middle, obviously, it's going to be uh, basically a sapling. So uh, I'm going to need to go put that together and let's see if it actually works. I'll do it off camera, of course. And handily, if you click on the visualize button here in the book, you're able to anchor it to a particular block. So you're able to see where it wants you to place everything. And of course, I put torches in the wrong, wrong place, but uh, that's fine. We can just make sure we move those. There we go. And that should do. OK, so then we just need to put our wooden stands down. So let's put all eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. OK, so that is everything but the oak sapling in the middle. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need that for presumably when I do the uh, the ritual. OK, next. OK, let's see if we can test this. There are, is a way to automate it. It does mention in the book, but I just want to see if it's just regular bottles. So let's just make the normal Minecraft bottles. And uh, do we get everything we need? Um, nope, looks like we do need to do that automation method. It's not too troubling, but it does need us to make a dispenser and probably a hopper as well. But uh, let's just get the dispenser. And that is going to be straightforward. Uh, I guess we could use the dropper recipe or a bow. Either one of those is fine. Let's get some string. Mm, that's one. <laughs> need a bit more string than that. And a couple of sticks. That will make us a bow. OK, and then some redstone. Or we could, well, I suppose, well, we still, need to, <laughs> we still need the redstone for a dropper. So we may as well just use the redstone and... Uh, some cobble, so redstone it is, uh, wherever I've put my small supply of redstone. There we go. So one dispenser. And we can make a cheap hopper as well, I suppose. Um, if we wanted to, just with a chest, which we can make with straight away with logs and get the four chest recipe. There we go, four chests. And the rest is just regular stone, I think. And I already have some in my inventory. Good. Let's just make a few of those. Always useful. And I'm probably going to need some more chests. Uh, I should make crates out of these, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it for this. There we go. So some chests, uh, some hoppers and a dispenser. Probably going to need a lever. I would have thought something like that. Uh, usually. Okay. So now we have, hopefully, I think we need to just briefly automate this. Uh, let's just put it uh, here and um, let's just put a chest hmm, there, I think, just to give it room to open. Put that down and then uh, that should be that. OK, so let's just put in some bottles in here and will you dispense if I put a lever on the side? Uh, oh. OK, you went into glass bottle, but you did not do what the book said you would. Let's get rid of that for a second. Uh, it says that the dispenser basically uh, opens the bottles when it actually puts them out. So if we can't do it without, well, with the hopper, let's just do it with that. No, is it a different type of bottle? That's a possibility. Where's the book? Bottle sunlight. So putting empty bottles and corks into them. Ugh, maybe it's a different thing. Bottles and corks. Bottle and cork. Yeah, OK, so it just needs some planks and nothing else. That's an easy enough upgrade. And then we'll just put those together with where is my other glass bottles? Let's go and get them out of here. And we can probably put that hopper back because it should work, hopefully. Uh, where's the hopper? There we go. 
All right, uh, very, very simple automation, but I will take it if it uh, stops us having to do this manually. Bottles and corks. And why don't we replace that with a button? Uh, we can replace it with something else later, but I'll just take a stone button for now and put that there. So bottles and corks. Yeah, that works. Three bottles sunlight. Good. So we have everything we need for that. We need for that quest. Uh, we need a torch, uh, sapling, the middle, an apple, iron ingots, gold leaf, and any sort of flower. That should be easy. Let me get them all together and put them outside. Okay, it's getting dark, but let's put this down and let's see if that actually. Well, it's suddenly got the structure complete. I've put everything down out here, and do we actually need? Um, let's just see. Token of joy. Uh, token. Token of joy. Uh, do I need something to activate this? Um, uh, yes. Construct the ritual in the correct sapling, then either through some kind of fertilizer or inevitably at time. So yeah, you just have to wait until it actually grows. So I'm going to sleep through the night and uh, then the daylight should grow. Um, if it uh, actually is just based on growth, what we could do is just put some fertile soil down instead of uh, instead of regular soil in the middle. And maybe that would help. Oh, let's grab one of you. Seems like a reasonable approach. Whether or not that will actually uh, work or not is something else. Let's just see. So let's break you. All right. And will you now... Oh, got some creatures. Uh, hopefully nothing nearby. Yep. Okay. So we just have to wait for it to grow. And it shouldn't take very long if it's on fertile soil. Did I put it down on fertile soil? I did. Good. There it goes. And... It's doing something. Okay. You're going to be absorbed. And hopefully we get our items. There we go. Two tokens of joy. And the tokens of joy, we're going to get some candle lily pads. That's fine. But that should then let us make the natural altar. Yes, we need to make something else out here. Same thing again. Two pieces of stone, one piece of gold, gold leaf. I need to go and make, obviously, the, the gold. But other than that, we should be good to go. One second. A little bit of gold later, and uh, we now have, hopefully, everything we need. And that goes there. Uh, another oak sapling can go in the middle, and uh, everything is down. The token of joy is here, and the right inside we've got some more gold leaf. The rest is just cook stone, so that's a uh, smooth stone. That should be straightforward. Get some mysterious dust from over here while we wait. And are you actually going to grow? You probably will. Yep, there we go. Uh, I promise I'm not doing that on command. And why are you not going? Uh... We have everything we need. Gold leaf, token of joy, stone. Hmm. That is odd. Was the, the middle the same? Yeah. Why are you not working? Have we got everything right this side? Yeah, it's all right. Hmm. And yes, it was staring me in the face quite literally. It seems like the gold powder gets used up, which is a shame because I have to keep getting more gold leaf. But if that works, that works. And I may have to redo uh, the sapling because the, yeah, it needs to grow again, basically. So let's just get rid of you. We should get another sapling back, hopefully. Yeah, I've already got one in my inventory anyway, but we got one. Okay, and hopefully that should grow. It's getting a bit dark for that, but um, yeah, we need to head inside. And in fact, I'm also going to need a spider, so I don't want to sleep through the night necessarily, because the next thing is going to be this environmental eye, which you need a spider eye for. And I don't have any way of generating that, I don't think. Um, no, no. Uh, if we go through Fisherman's Strainer, yes, but we don't have any bait yet. I guess we could do that. Oh, no, wait, it's it's... It's growing, even at night time. Oh, and uh, there's a friend. Uh, well, not necessarily a friend, but that's the mod pack creator who attacks all the players. Some would say conflict of interest. I think it's fine. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, so that is the altar, the natural altar, that is. And I think it says something about it being a multi-block structure. So I just need to go and get a spider eye to finish this off. So I'm off to hunt around a little bit. Shortest uh, path, it seems. 
No luck finding a spider, so we'll go the other route, and it's not too hard to actually do. Just get some stone bricks and some more brilliant fibre. You're going to need eight golden stone bricks, and then you can assemble, or we can assemble the natural altar. So the natural altar we got, we can bring it over here, and I've assembled most of the multi-block already. Um, you can use the visualize tool again, and that'll tell you exactly what you need to do here. So there's just some chisel stone bricks. You don't matter what, what's underneath your altar itself, it can be anything. And then everything else is just oak planks and stone bricks, apart from these four spaces. So I'm just going to put down uh, dirt. I'm just going to have four sections of dirt. It is nature's aura, so I guess, yeah, that fits with the whole theme. Uh, let's get rid of these for a second. Uh, you and you. And same thing on this side. Okay. And we can fill them in with the grass later. That's not a problem. But for now, we just want the golden stone bricks. One there. One there, one there, one there, and the other four are on top of the pillars. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's complete, and it now should be draining uh, basically the aura in the area, much like a magical mod, and we should be able to put a piece of dirt on there, and the dirt turns into a worm. That's handy because the worm happens to be the bait that we need to actually start up the fisherman side of things. So this is... Pretty good. Now, what I want to know is, in particular, do you let me automate you? Uh, where's my hoppers? I'll put the hoppers inside. Let's go and get some hoppers and some chests and sleep through the night, and let's see if this actually accepts automation. And it does. So I've just put a hopper behind it. I can't really put a chest in front of it because this is part of all these eight blocks are part of the multi-box structure. I guess we could, but we'd have to go down and then we don't have anything but hoppers at the moment. So for now, this is fine and uh, it will get me enough worms to get the fisherman side of things working. There we go. How many more have you got to go? Two. Okay, so you are going to need a lot of space for your um, altar, but uh, that should be fine. There's plenty of space in this particular world. We don't have to start from inside a small stone box. Well, we do start from inside a small stone box, but we expand it out of it. So that's easy enough. And in here, we can just drop this bait. And there we go. So we're starting to get other stuff in here that will get us some food, uh, other than this fleshy snow nugget, which is not terribly fulfilling. <laughs> <laughs> um, filling even. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, there is the national al uh, natural altar. On the other side is the environmental eye, and we do need a bit more gold for that, and that spider eye. So I'm going to go and do the gold off camera, and uh, we'll hope to get some spider eyes from the fisherman's thing. Um, let's just take a look, make sure it is actually correct. Uh, you can get it from straining, and it doesn't say what chance you get, but you get bones, string, and spider eyes from it. We don't have a bait pot yet. Uh, that would help just to keep things going. Can we make a bait pot? We can. Uh, bricks and clay in a smelter, yes, because we now have basically a furnace. So let's just get those three in there. And then we want uh, the other part of it, which is uh, iron bars. And I think I may have some iron bars spare. Yeah, I've got one iron bar. That'll do. Let me give me one, well, I need three of those bricks, but I'll finish it and put it in there. Now, if you, like me, are now sick of hammering stuff that comes out of that uh, that uh, bloomery, there is an alternate way of doing this. My uh, heavy thing is below, though, the heavy reinforcement thing, uh, so we basically don't have to uh, move it anymore. Nice setup, that is. Uh, we'll probably automate it later with block breakers, but I don't have them for now. We're just going to head uh, over to our natural altar. I'll fill in the ground around it because this should be able to convert gold or iron or really anything straight into its uh, its uh, nugget form. So that should convert over. And we've got a penguin. Hi. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Oh, uh, yep. We have 11. I think it's uh, 9 or 10 per time. 10 per time. Okay. So it does convert over straight into nuggets. And from nuggets, we can go straight into ingots. And that's much, much faster. It's not quite as efficient, of course, as going through the bloomery because you get more of the slag and you can reprocess it. But hey, well, uh, you know, speed is everything. Uh, we can always make more of the rock, um, rock cores and everything. So that's not a problem. And uh, do we need anything else? I'm just going to just turn this into, uh, well, into ingots. There we go. Five gold ingots. Most of that old game. Um, and then we just need one. Yeah, we just need one oak sapling. That's going to go out here. And I need some more gold powder, don't I? Because that uh, won't work otherwise. So I need, is it uh, eight of this stuff? We've got 45 left. 
So that's going to be straightforward. And it's getting towards, well, is it towards sunset? Yeah, it's getting towards sunset. Shouldn't matter. So um, one, two, three. And again, this doesn't seem to be something you really can automate, but uh, if anyone wants to suggest any way of doing it, then let me know. There may well be a better solution later. So spider eye is there. That comes from the fisherman's side of things. So we've got two gold leaf either side, one gold ingot here, and then our oak sapling in the middle. And that should grow pretty quickly. And while I'll just numb on the rest of this fleshy snow nugget. Okay. So do let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the pack. Hopefully you are. And hopefully you're following along and uh, getting to a decent amount. We need to head across here. I thought we'd be able to get all the way over here, but no, it seems to, we need to get this done. And uh, it's not, not that easy to actually do it, but uh, it's done. And we should be doing through this quest now. Um, hopefully. Gold pad have been absorbed. Come on. There we go. Okay, so suddenly I see. Uh, environmental eye. Um, does it do anything? Well, let's take that. Environmental eye. Click to review recipes. What does it actually do? It's a bauble. And does it just let us see, I don't know, ore in the world or something? Let's just take a look. Baubles. Can I put it anywhere? Oh, I can put it in my hand slot. Ah, there we go. So I'll get a gauge. Tells us how much ore there is around. Okay, that's quite nice. And uh, you can see it's draining because this structure over here is pulling in all the ore. Are we getting close? And uh, yeah, so I presume it's contained within these blocks or something like that. Anyway, that's good for now. Um, into the next quest. So natural ore, ore processing. With a natural altar, you can process your ore significantly more quickly and easier. With the yield will be slightly lower for ore. Yes, don't care about yield if we can uh, we can automate it. A hopper on the sides of the natural altar. Ha items can pull from the bottom via hopper or other device. So um, if we're going to do that, we'll have to just have lots of hoppers at the moment. And that's good because they're quite cheap. So I'm probably going to put a few of those together and see how that works. And here we go, we're underneath. So let's just make a line of hoppers like this, and then we can go and remove the altar from upstairs and replace it once we've got a hopper in place. So let's get rid of you for a second. There we go. And uh, hopefully this will be able to extract then. Let's put that back down. Okay, and we can see how much the natural altar actually has in it. I may have, um, may have done a bit of a problem because I used it all up, but hey, hey, that's just half of the course um and i will just fill this back in yeah we don't need this uh, accessible too much we just want this to be automated and not available to anything inside and that is gonna do pretty well so let's just put some stone down and i get some torches out later uh, i don't have any torches on me no i don't where have i put those not sure I need to make some more anyway we now have automated uh, approach we just need to put maybe another chest on top there and um, that's pretty much done. So yeah, uh, I can get some iron ore. I'll go and make some more of that and we'll come and uh, watch it get converted into lovely, lovely iron. And for that quest, we also got this device, which is a three by three crafting grid, but it seems to be able to pull from local inventories apparently. So uh, let's see if we get something with aquamarine in it. It's uh, aqua marine. Uh, if we pull in that, um, yep, yeah, it pulls in from nearby inventories. So that is pretty good. Kind of like that idea. And we should have some more iron available now. Yep. Yeah. Which means I can probably uh, start using iron tools instead of stone tools so they last longer. And uh, we just need lots more of the sacred land. I do need to automate the dropping of that heavy, heavy crushing block thing. Uh, but otherwise, we should be okay. And hopefully it doesn't drain the aura completely from an area. Hopefully there is a way of regenerating it or having it regenerate. Um, yeah, uh, so that's fine. Let's just put it through here. Eight iron ore. That should start getting converted. And hopefully... Yep, there it goes. Will you pull? pull? Yep, you are. So you should start appearing in here. You do. So we have everything we need. And I will just get a small crafting grid here. Later, we're going to use a compacting drawer. But uh, for the moment, it's easy enough to just grab some stuff and dump it in. Spread it and be able to get enough um, enough iron. So I've got a couple of iron available and uh, everything's looking good. Uh, what do we got going there? So yeah, we can just tick that off. We've got that going. And then an ancient sapling. Ah, there <laughs> The ancient tree will restore the aura in the area by draining the aura from its leaves. It will not generate 
excessor, it will only restore back to neutral half the bar. It still loses its leaves, so we need to make that. Uh, Ritual of the Forest, it needs all stuff that we already have. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go make one of those. I'm going to put it out so all this is straightforward, so you don't need to see me go and gra gather all that stuff, do you? And here we go. New Ritual. This should make one of the ancient saplings. And beyond that, we're going to get into apparently jungle saplings. But there we go. One ancient sapling. I'm not sure if we're able to reproduce these or how much space they actually need. Uh, so uh, why don't we put you down a little bit further out? I need to put some more. Let's get some more dirt from over here for a second. I'll just bring back this wall. I do need to get more torches, but that should do. And uh, we'll just bring it back. So let's look at the gauge on the left hand side and anywhere around here should do. So let's just bring it out to, I don't know, maybe there. Okay, and let's try the ancient sapling. Uh, we should probably put it on fertile dirt, but uh, I'll leave it for now. I need to sleep through the night, and we'll see how well that actually works in practice. Okay, here we go in daytime with a friendly, friendly face to actually get rid of first. Go away. I do not want explosions anywhere near. Yep. Explosions, but nowhere near. That's fine. I'll have to level this out again later. No problem. <laughs> Let's get rid of this and put some fertile soil down and then our ancient sapling. So let's see if that grows into a huge tree fairly soon. Um, should be pretty good. I probably should place these torches differently. Yep, maybe that'll help. At least there we go. Okay, ancient leaves. And is that actually regenerating? It looks like there is a particle effect near them, so I would assume so. And there is a gauge there, so it seems to be that it's being used up. At least that, that's what I hope this is the case. And uh, we're good to go. So let's just get this down. Is that still illuminating everything? It is. You are nearly full. So once this fills up, maybe it'll actually, uh, you know, back stuff and then uh, it'll get over there. So that's that done. We'll get another ancient sapling for a reward. Uh, I'm not sure if we're actually ever going to be able to reproduce them or we have to make them every time. And then we have to make a jungle sapling for ritual of transmutation. Um, and what do I want the really... What, why do I need jungle saplings? What what specifically is that going to help us? I mean, we get vines from the, the fisherman side of things, so that's not a problem. Uh, so maybe we need it for something else. Presumably we'll need it for the next quest, but there is diamond ore coming up. Mm, diamond ore. Uh, how do we actually get diamond ore? We need a sentient core, which is lapis, glowstone, and asshole ingots, which is uh, coming from asshole blocks. And that needs to go into raw asshole blocks, which is our crystal blocks, clay, and oh, say, all, all stuff we already have. So that looks like we can get to diamonds fairly quickly. And then we're on to bottled ghosts and all kinds of other stuff later. But for now, we've automated iron, which is a great approach. And oh, we, we do get more of these saplings. So we possibly could automate them later into being placed or farmed. And uh, it looks like it's going to leave the, the logs behind, though. So we may have to do something about that. But uh, otherwise, huh, it's pretty good. And uh, the aura at the bottom left of the screen has risen, which is good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just put down a few more pieces of dirt and then we'll just have it grow naturally. I won't need to worry about um, actually cleaning this up manually. Uh, let's just put it here. Uh, in fact, we can already do that. That's fine. And let's get some of our stone shovels. Get that out of the way. So, so many snowballs. <laughs> I've been converting them already, but... Uh, yeah, so that should be pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that episode. We've got a fair bit automated and uh, mainly the, the iron, which I was just... Ugh, it was painful, the previous episode. So, yep, I'm much, 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 much happier now. And you can go down there. Okay, so we've got regenerating aura, hopefully. I have more logs to clean up. And next episode, we'll head on into the rest of the quests. Hope you enjoyed this one. There's been a fair, fair amount of multi-bot crafting in this one to get us to the point where we no, don't need that bloomer anymore, but now uh, it should be much easier to get metals. <laughs> Hope you'll join me for the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, as always. And uh, yeah, see you next time.